Hi everybody, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here. Uh, it's a Friday and we're doing the first half of Classics Football. As you can see, the next half is already in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. So this will be break number seven, Random Divisions. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. These three people right here, Josh and Mike, you have a little uh, rooftop or a carrot next to your name because you won that spot in our spot randomizer, our latest spot random, number 32. So congrats. There's all the divisions there. Let's randomize each list. Five and a five, 10 times. Five and a five for a five box break. 10 the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we've got Josh on the pole, Corey in the number eight spot. And 10 times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. AFC East on top, NFC North in the number eight spot. There you go. Josh, you have the AFC East. Sexy Rexy with the AFC South. Mike Koontz, NFC South. John Parker, AFC West. Josh, NFC East. John F with the AFC North. Michael Van Wy, NFC West. Corey with the NFC North. There you go, trades are allowed. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Oh, hi. Welcome back. I messed up. Uh, I accidentally grabbed the, from our spot randomizer, I actually accidentally grabbed the Majestic Football people. It actually should be these people right here. So let me actually do the randomizer again. Or no, you know what? I'll just fill in. Uh, so these four boxes. I'll just fill in those names with these names right here, because that's what that's what their spots would have been. We have three GTS boxes. We'll do that tomorrow. And these four. Are so Mike, we'll get Josh's first spot, because that's where your name would have been. And then you'll also get Josh's other spot, and Mike Koontz. I'm sorry, Jason K, you'll get Josh's other spot. Hasta mañana, Joe. See you, boss, man. And Chad, you'll get Mike Koontz's spot right there. There we go. Sorry about that. That's where your names would have been anyway. This is what I get for trying to rush through everything. There you go. So now that's done. Now that's done. Now I can reprint this out. Sorry about that, folks. All right, so let me print this out. Yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't start going through the break before that happened. And thankfully, I knew, um, knew who to replace. That was a lot easier. All right, there we go. All right, pausing the video again. When we come back, we'll have the break with the correct people in it. Thank you. All right, there were no trades in these divisions. So there you go. Once again, I know I, 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 I screwed up those spot, that, that spot random thing. So um, Mike, I know Jason K is satisfied with his division, but Mike and Chad, if, um, if, you're not, uh, if you're not happy with those for whatever reason, shoot me an email, let me know, we'll work something out. I'm sure you guys are fine with it. I know you guys, but just in case, I don't want to assume that that, that that was an okay solution if you're watching the video later on. So uh, if it's not okay, jazbeeshobbyland at gmail.com. Holler at me and we'll work it out. All right. So this is a half case break. This is their second inner right there. Our second inner from the uh, same master. <coughs> and there we go. It's pretty heavy. Let's pop this open. As you can see, I wrote, I wrote next time right there so you know this is for next time i know you're being sarcastic john b but you'd be surprised at how many people don't get it <laughs> all right
Okay, here we go. So we're either going to do that side or that side. So one, two, three for this row right here or four, five, six for this one right here. Let's roll the die. Four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do that side. So this side we're going to do for next time. This is why I was looking for that Sharpie. You know, write it, write eight here or an infinity symbol. So this break is already in the store. Jaspieshobbyland.com. So if you want to run this classics back, let's do it. This is our last uh, last break of classics. We don't have any more. All right. Good luck, everyone here. So as most of you know, one autograph, one memorabilia card per box. Nate Beckham, you need to be more specific, my friend. What's the most expensive box? Like a box of cards? Or just like, there's like a, a treasure chest maybe? That's a box with, with like pieces of eight inside? That's pretty expensive. Hobby box, retail box, box of cards, football, basketball, baseball. Most expensive box like ever? Or most expensive box on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. I don't know. You gotta be more specific. A box of football cards. Probably flawless, flawless football. I think each briefcase of flawless is uh, it's close to $2,000. Nice, Mike, I hope she's listening. Michael House saying, the one I had my wife's ring in, Oh. Just point her to this part of the video, Michael House. Let's just send that to her. Score brown brownie points. Well, you're 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 a pro now, Jason K. You're a pro now. now. Now you know the 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 agony of defeat, as well as the joy of hitting big. Everyone goes through it. Okay, good luck, everybody. Box number one, first uh, first proper break of the day, right? I don't think I did anything else. Yeah. So here we go. Happy Friday. We're going to randomize these cards left and right, so I'll set that aside to remind me. And there's Demarcus Walker out of 25. Nice. 12 out of 50. Blank back. Kellen Winslow. Chargers. AFC West. And we'll... Uh, I don't know all the college players off the top of my head what pro team they go to. So we'll look all the shipping team will look those up before we send those out. Um, for the autographs and, and, and for the hits though, I'll definitely look them up on the video. So we'll we'll know exactly who they go to. Is that ready to go? Yeah, these are just base cards. Thanks, Axel. We're streamlining processes here, ladies and gentlemen. Todd Reardon, what's going on, Hot Toddy? Getting the van ready for the national, nice. I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Almost dropped Marlon Mack in. The oh, you almost dropped Marlon Mack in the trash? Come on, Joe. Don't, just don't do that. Oh, come on, me. Gurner Kyle, All out right. of two ninety nine. Oh man. I think he's undrafted. If I missed that red back variation of Gurner Kyle, that person would have been very disappointed. Nineteen out of twenty five. I think he went undrafted. So oh, he went undrafted. No, sure. Makes it even more, makes it even more of a hassle then. Put a lot of work into undrafted guys. All right. There's Amara Darbo. Darbo goes to Axel. I say Steelers. <laughs> Steelers. Yeah. Seahawks. Uh, Kaiser says Seahawks. Seahawks. That's one point for Adam Kaiser. Keep track.
Remember when the Seahawks were in the AFC? I don't think people remember that. But for most people, Seahawks didn't exist until Pete Carroll <laughs> joined them. And the boss. Yeah. Uh, 121 out of 399. Flashback Fabrics, Doug Flutie for the Bills, AFC East, Mike Coster. How big do you think? How big is Vince Wilfork? Dude, 6'2", 325. That's a lie. He's 6'3", 600. I think he's a lie. He's, I think he's bigger than that. Uh, yeah, Todd, spot randomizer is done. We did that random already. That video should be up on the YouTube. So, yes, everything on the site, jazbeeshobbyland.com, is ready to break. So, we do have breaks backed up. There's Terrell Davis at a 299. So here, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the schedule in for everybody. So, we do have some breaks backed up. But we'll have plenty of time to do all sorts of breaks by around 6.30 Pacific. Splashback Fabrics. What is, what size is top? I'll put you one of these. All right, there you go. Slide these over here. See if you else. All right. All right, get in early then, Todd. We are six thirty Pacific is when we're gonna start start doing things here. What kind of party are you having? Todd says he has a big party at his house. Oh, nice. Come on, Joe. What? Did I miss another numbered card? Randall Cobb. Oh man, Corey Williams were gonna be, was gonna be so disappointed if we forgot about this Randall Cobb one fifty nine out of two ninety nine. All right. Two graduates for Todd, right? Elena is graduating high school. Congrats to her, and Lauren, middle school. Well, congrats to her. So just when Todd, just when they thought they got rid of one Reardon from high school, Lauren entered. Are they going to the same? I'm assuming they're going to the same high school. And there's Lauren going to going to high school. And they'll be like, "Darn, another four years of another Reardon here." I'll. Is uh where where is where is Elena going to college? Has she figured that out yet? Is she? I don't know. I'm assuming she is. Most of the kids do these days, in one capacity or another. Oh, so Paige and Lauren will cross over. Okay, so when Lauren's a senior, Paige will be a freshman. That's crazy. Crazy times. They grow up so fast, Todd. <laughs> All right, Cameron Wake will lead us off here. There's Le'Veon Bell out of 50. We might find him in Ink Threads, which is coming up a little bit later tonight. Thanks, Porterhouse Steak, for dropping the schedule there. Oh, okay, so she's going to go to a JC, figure out what she wants to do. Oh, hi, Paige. Oh, nice, Rex. So Rex's stepdaughter graduating this weekend. Congrats to her as well. And she's going to be a Boilermaker. Nice. Uh, Drew Brees went to Purdue, right? Is that, am, am I just making that up? <laughs> what, what does she want to study, Rex? Out of 299, John Ross. Uh, that's Bengals. I know because... We met him at the NFLPA rookie premiere. He was really nice. Very fast. And your autograph is Kareem Hunt at a 199. 00, uh, no, 61 out of 199. Hunt. Chiefs. AFC West with that one. Uh, that'll be John Parker with the Chiefs. Oh, in the medical vet field. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice 
we'll set that aside right here. We should be looking for one more uh, for one more hit, one relic. And Drew Brees and Ryan Kerrigan. I don't know who Ryan Kerrigan is. Is that Nancy Kerrigan's brother? Wait, why is that name sound familiar? Uh, 299. Roger Staubach, NFC East, Cowboys, Jason K. And that's a Redback, Steve Smith Sr., AFC North, 100 at 299. Actually, these are where the pro guys go. College guys are on this side right here. It's Tom Brady. Oh, she really wants to be a vet. Uh, what, I mean, does she want to be like vet for like dogs and cats, like domestic animals, or does she want to do like horses and like elephants and stuff like that? Oh, Redskin defensive end is Ryan Kerrigan. And Franco Harris. Ball hit the ground. 267 out of 299. Uh, Canton Collections Relic for the AFC North, John F., and the Steelers. Was the Brady a sepia? See, I, I can't tell. I'll pull it out, but I thought, I thought the logo had to be sepia as well in order to call it a sepia. You know what I mean? Wait, where'd that? Oh, there it is. I don't know, but well, we'll we'll sleeve it up. We'll set it aside. AFC East, Mike Coster. So we'll set that aside too. It goes into the pro player pile. Into the pro players, yes. That goes into the college pile. All right, there we go. AFC North. Slide that over here. Okay, next one. Oh, I got you. So, so she's going to go domestic animals. Nice. Well, that's very cool. That is very cool. Charter fan twenty one bringing it back to football, saying, "Hey." Jeremy Macklin is now a free agent. Any ideas on who he will end up with? Probably end up with a team that wants a receiver that doesn't like to catch the ball very often. That's a good one. A team's like, hey, I want a receiver that's lost a step. Yeah, I want that guy. Someone who lost a step, who uh, doesn't run routes well anymore and doesn't like to catch the ball. That's the kind of guy I need. Uh, the Bears will be the team, says Todd Reardon. I don't know. I mean, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, though, like, Jeremy Macklin... Could still be a serviceable receiver, right? A veteran presence on a, on a team somewhere. I don't know. Hard to say, but I mean, he's not gonna at this point in his career. Doesn't seem like he's gonna get very like a lot of money. Um, so if you can get Jeremy, a guy like Jeremy Macklin, on a sort of team friendly contract, which I'm sure it will be, not a lot of guaranteed money. Could be nice. That's. <laughs> Mike Cody was also going to say Bears. Adam Kaiser is like, hey, anything would be an upgrade for the Bears at wide receiver. All right. Moving on to the next box. You like that? There's Kirk Cousins out of 299 for the NFC East. Oh, there's Bruce Smith, AFC East out of 299. Out of 299, Deshaun Watson. There you go. Nice. Deshaun Watson went to the Texans, right? Why am I blanking on that? Yeah, he did. So I'll go to the AFC South. That is for uh, 
Rex, I believe, he has the AFC South. And we have Tim Williams out of 199. Tim Williams. I know where Mike Williams went. Tim Williams goes to the Ravens, AFC North. John F. with that autograph. All right. There you go. AFC North. Todd, uh, going a little baseball, is saying, I'm seeing articles that Vlad Guerrero Jr. is going to be a very hot prospect. Indeed. I think he's still with the Blue Jays organization, right? I think Gabriel Hernandez has been trying to chase Vlad Guerrero Jr. autos in our 2016 Bowman's Best Breaks. Without too much luck, unfortunately, but... There's Steve Largent, NFC West. But yeah, I mean, you know, he's obviously got the pedigree. There's Drew Brees. 163 out of 299 for the NFC South. Chad with that one. He's got the pedigree, and I, apparently he's, he's going to be pretty pretty good. We'll see how that works. There's Charles Haley for the NFC East. That's out of 25. So is this a sepia too? I thought, but there's a lot of sepias then. Is that a sepia then, or is that just a black and white? I don't know. We'll set we'll set this aside though. Is it ready to go? Yeah. Very early folks. What? Very early folks. I mean I left my two hours ago. Alright. So there's that. And FC South. What up, Nikkei? So there you go. We don't sell individual cards, Nate Beckham. All right, so those are your hits right there. The pro players, college players. Next box. Yeah, Todd, he's he's got a uh, he's got cards there already. Um. But yeah, uh, yeah, he he's got cards Bowman's best, and he probably has cards in 2016, like Bowman or Bowman draft or whatever. One of those should have autographs of him already. So there, he's been, I think he's been in sets for for a couple of years now. No, not yet. Yeah, there's just prospect autos. But yeah, I mean, once he's, you know, once he's, uh, you know, a pro, that's when I think we'll see his first RC. What's up, TJ? TJ saying a big mofo is John Singleton, apparently. He's in Corpus Christi and in Tulsa right now. You know who's crushing it, TJ? For for our Tulsa drillers. They're the Dodgers double-A franchise. Walker Bueller has been lighting it up. All right. Yeah, man, you you had that you had that Walker Bueller nailed down as a star like since we did those like collegiate breaks. Remember when we got that, that Walker Bueller you got out of one of those collegiate baseball breaks? All right, Delaney Walker. And Terry Bradshaw, Ben Roethlisberger is our dual relic. Out of 10. Nice patches. 
Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. AFC North, John F. Oh, there we go. There's Ray Lewis out of 299. What time is it? Game time. I'll go to the AFC North and the Ravens. AFC North box so far. And a redemption. I don't think I've seen a redemption in this set yet, right? Do you guys have any idea who the redemptions are? I think he gets it all the time, Todd. TJ Yeldon, AFC South. That is out of 99. There's Juju Smith Schuster out of 299. <laughs> nice one, Porterhouse. Porterhouse takes saying Tuki Toussaint. <laughs> Henry Owens. Jonathan Williams. All right, the redemption is, oh, it's a buyback. Oh, okay. And the buyback is for Fred Taylor, Jaguars, Fred Taylor. Buyback autograph, that goes to the AFC South and Rex. There you go, AFC South. Nice one, Rex. And that was your this was your relic here. Yeah, I wasn't I was not expecting Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor was one of those classic guys that were like um were like if if he was healthy, like if his knees didn't fail him, he was a pretty dynamic running back. Could have been somebody, could have been a contender. All right. Last box, good luck everybody. Pretty much looks I'm looking at the clock right now. We're pretty much on schedule, it looks like. Rex, he was an old uh, he was an old running back. I wanna say I think he played for the Jaguars most of his career, right? Fred Taylor? About say eight years. Yeah. And then he went to the Vikings. And then the Bears. Oh no, that was Chester too. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. There's Mark Brunel. I think that's the same era, right? Mark Brunel and Fred Taylor. Another one for the AFC South. Out of 299, Jordan Leggett. We got Alshon Jeffrey for the Bears, 18 out of 99. Just one off his jersey number as usual, because that's what we do here at Jaspies. <laughs> Always one off. And then I'm stunned when we actually hit the jersey number. Someone usually has to tell me. It's like, oh, we hit it. And it's like, what?
And there's Raekwon McMillan at a 199. And he goes to the Wu Tang. Also the Dolphins. AFC East, Mike Coster. And there's the relic, Tony Dorsett for Jason K. Canton Collections at a 299. And that's your break, folks. There's Joe Hayden for the Browns, AFC North at a 299. And that is that. Curtis Martin at the end right there. Excellent. Uh, pro teams are right here. All right, so now we have a, we do have to do a quick uh, randomizer for the left and the right. Uh, both Todd and Mike are wondering, does it, how much of a difference does that really make? If there's a jersey number, it actually kind of does. Like if, if two of the same autograph were up there, one was a jersey number, one wasn't, it will make a difference. And obviously it'll depend on the player as to what that difference will be. You know, but like an Odell Beckham, let's say for example, Odell Beckham Jr., like just, just take a generic autograph for Odell Beckham Jr., rookie auto, right? And if you pulled a, you know, 10, a, a 6 out of 25 autograph, right? The 13 out of 25 will always sell better. Now, I don't, there's no like percentage rule that jumps up, but it'll just in general sell better. Uh, the Ben, they were both Steelers, Rex. So they go to the AFC North. The dual patch. Yeah, it was uh, it was Terry Bradshaw and <laughs> Terry Bradshaw and uh, what you call it? Ben Ross Ben Roethlisberger. All right, so let's go left, right on those left, right. So those are for all those dual cards that are there. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Right side will get them. There you go. So that'll be the Richard Sherman, the who was talking about you side. That's it, folks. That was classics number seven. Uh, this is Joe. The other half is in the store. JaspiesHobbyNine.com. See you later. Bye-bye.